All I can say this month, Libra, is be prepared to be surprised. In September, we have the Sun and Mercury in the sign of Virgo, ruling over your astrological 12th house of mental health and spirituality, as well as your subconscious, things that are hidden. And so there could be a lot that is happening beneath the surface, or there are dynamics that have been hidden or unclear to you for some time that are going to be revealed, particularly around the 5th and 6th of this month as we have the Sun and Mercury coming together, but also maybe around the 14th when Mercury is going direct in the sign of Virgo along with the new moon in Virgo as well. So a lot of this is really helping you establish new routines that are better for your overall wellness, and also letting go of bad habits or patterns that no longer serve you. Another interesting thing that came through while I was connecting to your energy, Libra, I actually saw the image of a double helix that was spiraling, and it felt like it was moving up, um, and this felt like Yes, there is a progression. Things might feel like they repeat or cycle for you, but there's ultimately a growth that is happening. But I felt like there was also this genetic component to something this month, maybe connecting to your ancestry or your roots in some way. And when I actually pulled a card to clarify, because I just wanted to make sure I was getting the message with this image, I got the emperor. And this is really interesting to me because this could literally be representing your father's side of the family, your patrilineage. There could be something here as well that you are working through or changing. Patterns in your family that are from your father's side are something that you could be redefining in the month of September, which seems like a really important thing for some of you too. I have just a touch of housekeeping before we get too far in today's video. Um, we are in Virgo season after all. For those of you who are returning to this channel, it's great to see you again. Welcome back. I'm actually uploading a lot more on my other social media accounts, and honestly, by my own admission, I've been pretty vacant online for a while. Um, a big irony of my life is I'm actually not a huge social media person at all. Um, it's just been a wonderful vehicle to do this work, and I would really appreciate anyone who is on these other platforms to also follow me on there as well. I'm actually really enjoying the shorter format. It feels more engaging, and it helps me put out information more quickly. Um, so definitely consider following me there. You can find all of my links for social media accounts in the description of this video, alongside links for personal readings and discussions distance Reiki sessions. For those of you who are new to this channel, hello, welcome, my name is Michael, and I utilize tarot and tropical astrology to intuit monthly forecasts for your zodiac sign. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification so you can always stay up to date with what's in the cards for you. So while I'm shuffling the deck for you, Libra, I just want to also mention that Venus, your ruling planet, is now going direct after having been retrograde in the sign of Leo for the past couple of months, since the end of July. And maybe it's brought up a lot of anxiety. Maybe there's been a lot going on for you mental health-wise. Um, maybe you've just been very restless with this energy. Because you are ruled by Venus, you're very sensitive to whatever it is doing. And having been retrograde in the 11th house, your astrological 11th house of community and support systems and networking, you may have been reconsidering where you belong or who really supports you or who your people are. Um, and I feel like this has been something that you've been thinking a lot about. Um, We also have the Temperance card in reverse. I feel like with your mental health, the thing that you've learned over the past month, particularly in August, is that things are not in balance. Things cannot go on the way they have been going. It's not a matter of waiting for things to be different or waiting for things to change. You're realizing that you have to do something differently for yourself this month, Libra. And that could be involving relationships, that could be involving your mental health, um, that could really be involving a number of things. We also have the Hermit in reverse. 
You know, I feel like you've been isolating yourself or you have been just very in your own head with something, trying to figure out your own problem, trying to do something yourself, trying to get through something without asking for help, but it just hasn't been working. I feel like you might be getting a second opinion. And I, I do feel like there is a mental health focus here, but I, I feel like you're talking to a therapist or a coach or maybe even a doctor or like a psychiatrist or something. Um, I'm not going to lie. The energy has been hard. And if this isn't making sense to you, Libra, then this just might not be the reading for you this month. You're welcome to check out the other videos, maybe for your moon or rising sign. Um, but I feel like for this group, there's been this period of anxiety and I almost want to say anguish or suffering. And you've been going about it in a way that hasn't really been helpful. And you've been isolated or maybe not seeking out the right opinions. Maybe you've been avoiding seeking out expertise or guidance. We have the King of Wands in reverse with the Six of Swords in reverse. You're definitely having a hard time moving forward in some way. And I feel like there needs to be something about you healing your self-confidence, your self-worth. It feels like you've been repeating cycles with people, maybe people coming back from the past. And I mean, I know that's such a cliche retrograde thing. Honestly, August and even September is a time where that's very likely for some people. Um, you might even be connecting with old friends specifically. Um, but it feels like there have been people who are very egotistical or very self-centered who keep coming back in your life. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just had to make sure I was okay. <laughs> um, you know what I'm actually getting from this Libra? With the King of Wands and the Six of Swords both in reverse, what you are uncovering or realizing is that on some level, you don't believe you deserve better. That you don't deserve to move forward. There is this feeling of unworthiness that is keeping you stuck and keeping you in the same patterns maybe even keeping you in relationships that aren't serving you. Or even keeping you in jobs or other situations that aren't really to your level. Strength card in reverse. Again, lacking this confidence, lacking this composure. But honestly, you know what? That's not how I'm feeling with this strength card. Libra, I feel like a lot of you use your willpower against you rather than for you. Some of you might feel like you don't have any discipline. Some of you might feel like you don't have any willpower. But the truth is... You've been trying to discipline or even punish yourself into being healthy or aligned. And the truth is, when it comes to healing, healing means whole. 
that's where it derives, um, you know, that, that word, that root. Um, we cannot become whole or healed by shaming certain parts of ourself or trying to shame ourself into wholeness. It just doesn't work because shame is a rejection. And that might be part of this thing with your mental health. And I know things have been kind of heavy here. I will pull some blessings here as well. I'm not just going to leave you hanging, but I, I don't shy away from heavier messages so you know that these readings are authentic that they're real um i'm not just going to tell you the things you always want to hear and there are some things that you have been afraid to end you're afraid to end certain relationships or chapters in your life libra because you don't believe um you are worthy of anything better or there won't be anything better and I, I know this sounds heavy but this is in your head right I'm not saying that this is objectively true this is not true at all um, where's all of this going Where is all of this going? Show us clearly, please. The Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups. I'm going to be honest. It feels like you are working your way through something, and that could take some time. The Eight of Swords is interesting because it is an energy of feeling stuck or imprisoned, but the truth is it's also a matter of perspective. This woman has a blindfold on. She's all tied up, but what she doesn't see is that she actually has the ability to cut herself free from her situation. And with the Six of Cups, I also get this sense of healing something from the past, healing your inner child. Some of you might be having a hard time of letting go from old relationships or letting go of old relationships or old patterns. And again, I get the sense that you feel like you might be stuck in the past because you don't believe there is anything in the future for you. And also looking at this like inner child healing or inner healing. Again, I want to go back to the emperor. There, I, there could be something about healing father issues. Judgment. It's interesting because there's a lot of things that are coming back from the past in September. And there is a very f final energy here. There's a finality to this. You are making decisions about things from the past. What you no longer wish to associate with. And with the full moon in Aries, there could be a letting go of a relationship or letting go of a past relationship so that you can bring in new energy finally. There is some very deep healing that is happening for you this month. Um, And you are finally unbinding yourself. 
you are freeing yourself from the past. And in order to do that, you must see the past objectively and clearly. Maybe that means taking off some rose-colored glasses. Or maybe... Maybe things aren't as bad as you thought they were when you really look at them. Or they're not as painful as you thought they were. Or that they used to be. Or as they used to be. Bottom of the deck. The Eight of Cups. You are finally walking away. Um, and you are looking for your happiness elsewhere. Um, that, that's what I really think of with the Eight of Cups. It's so close to the Nine of Cups. And that's interesting to me because it's like, sometimes when I see the Eight of Cups, it's like, yes, there were things in that situation where it felt like it would be your happily ever after. But there is a movement. You are deciding to look elsewhere for your ninth cup and even for your ten of cups. Finding your happiness elsewhere, finding your fulfillment elsewhere. And with the Seven of Pentacles, it's been a long thing coming. You've been putting in a lot of work, and this work has been very internal. And so it might feel like not a lot has happened or you haven't been doing a lot, at least from the outside perspective, but you've been working very hard. You've been very diligent with untangling yourself. And now there is something that is ready for harvest. There is something that is ready for change. Something is ripe for the picking, Libra. And you might be realizing that. There have been opportunities available to you this whole time. Um, what are the blessings for Libra in the month of September? Let's get to the blessings, right? Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. Okay. So there could be a new offer for you financially or just increase in stability. This could be a promotion. This could be a new job. This could be a move. There's just something that feels more stable in your life. You're getting more stable footing. And I think as we get more and more into your season, Libra, you're investing in yourself more. And there's a lot of happiness and personal fulfillment. <sighs> something, there is something that you have been manifesting for a long time, or maybe multiple things that you've been manifesting, especially if you've been wanting a new start financially, or a new job, or new stability, or even just more stability in relationships. Whatever stability you have been manifesting, Libra, it is coming. And there might even be something that is coming through at the end of this month. Particularly with Venus being direct in Leo, it feels like as Venus is catching up and moving forward in its post-shadow period, that could be a time where you are getting returns on your manifestations or your work from the past. Something is coming in that feels really good. And I feel like conditions are improving in your life to help you focus more on your wellness. The devil is coming out here as well. So I do feel like you are freeing yourself from self-limiting beliefs. Um, 
and from situations that feel imprisoning. We've pretty much said that so many different ways, but... I feel like you are overcoming addictions, habits, patterns that no longer serve you. And you are finding real happiness. You're finding real stability. You are investing in things that actually give back to you. And the Ten of Cups. I was talking about with the Eight of Cups, it's like you are in search for your Nine of Cups and even your Ten of Cups, this fulfillment, this harmony, these beautiful relationships, this happily ever after. You're finding out what family really means to you, what love really means to you. And for some of you, there could even be a commitment or a relationship that becomes a very serious commitment, honestly, like a marriage with the Ten of Cups. I feel like there's a lot of blessings in your orbit, Libra. And even if it feels like you've been stuck in the cycle, I'm remembering that double helix, I'm remembering that spiraling upward, you're still progressing, you're still elevating, you are seeing things from higher, higher and higher perspectives. And the Page of Pentacles. Yep, new beginnings, um, new life chapters. Maybe you're learning new skills. I really just feel like you are stabilizing, getting on your feet, and that is going to help you cultivate very beautiful relationships as well, Libra. And I mean, Jupiter is in your eighth house of Taurus. Um, there could be something with investments that are coming to fruition or something with money coming in or abundance increasing. I feel like some of you are investing in your future and investing in your dreams and you're no longer letting fear hold you back. You are becoming liberated so that you can invest in the things that you really want and create the foundations for yourself that will really support you in the future. And those are all the messages I have for you this month, Libra. I hope that this was helpful. I do hope that it wasn't too heavy. Um, for those of you who stuck it out till the end, for those of you still watching, thank you so, so much. Um, you may as well hit like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. It helps me continue putting out these messages um, and really write down what it is that you are creating foundations for in the comment section down below because I feel like there is something here where it's like you are finally investing in the things that are fulfilling and healthy for you. Um, and I, I love, love, love to see this because I feel like you are taking action. You are setting the course for yourself, Libra. If you would like to book a personal reading or a distance Reiki session, especially if you do feel really stuck or like you need some help changing some patterns, you can find all of my links in the description box down below, as well as links for all of my other social media accounts. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, Libra. Have a happy and blessed September.